How's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm in the John Deere 4555. Got the FP240 New Holland chopper on right now. We're going to take the haylage head off and take it into the shop, clean it up a little bit, and get the kernel processor all hooked up. So I'll show you guys a little bit with that. Probably won't get the corn head on tonight because I'll probably run out of daylight, and it really helps having a second person. So let's get the let's get the hay head off it and let's get this in the shop. So we're taking the haylage head off here. Uh, I got it tipped all the way forward and I put the jack down. Um, it's basically just pull that pin out and that comes down. These are run by universal joint. So I already pulled that off. And then over here, there's these little pins. You pull up and then you're gonna pull the back part out, which looks like that. It sits behind a uh, like a pin that goes crossways like this inside there basically on the back side there's something that goes like that this runs in there run the pin in that holds it there's one on each side do the other side here i gotta clean this out Let's see if I can do this. It's easier to have two people doing the heads. And there we go. There's the other one. They can go on and off with one person, but it's so much easier with the second person. I'm gonna put them in the toolbox so they don't get lost. Now it's time to back this up. The head will come off and time to get in the shop and get the kernel processor put back on or pre-hooked back up. Come on, buddy. Climb in. If you go to an agriculture school, there'll be cows in college. Playing with the cows. So it is a dreary day. It rained earlier and it's just kind of like, it's like misting right now. But anyway, we have the FP240 here. Um, I made a video early in the year when we were getting ready to go do haylage. I was getting this all ready for haylage and I never posted it because there were so many other videos to go up. So um, I'll make a video throwing the, I took the kernel processor out in this one, and or the first one, so I'll be putting it back in for this one. Uh, with this FB240, there's a pin that goes in here. Um, those are the two, uh, whatever you want to call them, posts or whatever that uh, the head sits on. Um, to lower it all the way down, it drops a certain amount for it to go all the way down to, uh, to get a head on. I see you. To get a head on and off, you want to put that pin through there and then you'll be able to extend it pretty much all the way to the ground which you which you don't need when you have a head on there that's why that pin comes out so I'm gonna take that out now so I don't lose it um, to hook the pin or to took hook the head up oh this is e nice and easy to talk today to hook the head up to the chopper itself um, you hook it up with these by this universal 
uh, some of them the old one we had hooked up by chain but this one runs by a universal so that's it's good you got these uh, three springs here we have it tensioned up uh, I'll have to loosen it up right now we have them tight for the haylage head we have to loosen them for the corn head uh, here's the feeder house it brings everything in you can see the knives right there someone asked me how do you sharpen the knives um, there's a handle right here and let's see if I can see there's the there's a flint stone flint right a stone right in there um, while it's going you want to run that stone across and uh, but you don't want it to run usually the way there's shh, not so loud buddy um, those knives will run this way you want it to run the opposite way when you're sharpening it to do that You take that PTO shaft and you put it on, where'd it go? Oh, you put it, thank you, don't let that drop. You put it right over, hang on, there we go. Then where's that undo? You basically take this PTO shaft and you put it on the other sprocket there, which runs in reverse. So that'll run your knives backwards and you're able to sharpen. So for those of you who don't know what a kernel processor is, I think most of you know, when you run corn, um, they're an extra set of rollers. And what they do is they crack the kernel of the corn. So uh, you, it's not needed for haylage. So that's why we take it out. What we're doing is uh, the crop goes in through there. The feeder house brings it in. You saw the knives to chop it up. Um, after that for haylage, it'll just get, these are in neutral really. There's nothing, no belts on here to really run it. So they'll drop down. There's an auger right here that brings it this way. There's a big fan in here that shoots it up and into the wagon. Um, for corn, we'll use the kernel processor. So same thing. Um, the rotary head will cut it. It will bring it in here. The feeder house feeds it into the machine. You see the knives right there. There's a little bit better. Here's a knife right there. You'll see it chop it up. And then there will be a belt I put on here. You'll see that, that runs everything. Here's the big wheel that'll run everything. And I'll put a plate in there. So what it'll do is it will, the crop will slide up that plate through these. Like I said, I gotta change, I gotta get all the, through these two rollers and drop down, then out and up. So what I'm gonna do now is clean all this up, get it all cleaned up and put the plate in. chopper and this bar goes in there's two channels that this sits behind and here is the plate that goes inside here it's got bolts on top loosen that up anyway uh, you can't really see the channel it's pretty dark in there but there's two there's two nubs that stick out that that goes behind. Uh, this has a rounded back part. This rounded part kind of And then this part's rounded. So it kind of goes like that. So this part sits inside those two sits down where those two stops are and then this pull the, this top part bolts right underneath this roller so
Okay, Papa. Not that one. No, that's not the one. That's not Your Papa? bottle jack? Yeah. Okay, Papa, watch. So now that plate's in, um, I gotta tighten up that the bolts and take out that gap. But yep, it's in. So now when the corn comes through the feeder rolls and through the chopper, it will come up this plate and through these processor rolls and drop down into the auger. So now everything's hooked up. So when the knives are going, the kernel processor will now turn. Plate is in. I need to take the light out. So got the processor and got the belt all hooked up. So that's all running good. Um, my dad's milking right now. I'll help him get the corn head on and then we are gonna be in business. It, like I said, it's got that misty rain right now, but uh, look what he just brought back from the neighbors. We are borrowing his, once again, his Roto Press bagger. Uh, we bag corn silage first, only because we can get it in the bag a little wetter. And uh, for our sealed silos, you want the moisture around 50 to 55%. You don't want to put it in too wet you put it in too wet you're gonna have a lot of problems with the unloader if you put it in too dry it's also gonna cause some problems so you really want it right at the right spot uh, with the bags you can put it in a little bit more wet if you want so uh, that's why we bag first so we're gonna get started with that and uh, then clean out the silo the one with the American flag on it and get that all done we're still feeding out of the bag over here so anyway um, just a brief little overview of the uh, processor and a little bit of the chopper. Uh, we'll get some more, hopefully we can get out in the field here shortly. We're, um, today's, I'm shooting this on a Monday. Uh, we are hoping by Wednesday, but depending on the weather. So anywhere between the end of the week. Um, so I gotta get the little guy up and get him, uh, get him fed. Yeah, that's the back, good job, buddy. Yeah, that's the back. I gotta get him fed. Um, Check out his sister, make sure she did her homework and all that fun stuff. But anyway, thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that uh, thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night, everybody.